today. With Father's Day coming up this weekend, I was thinking of some really fun masculine cards and this one was just phenomenal. The idea came to me from my friend Ellen Quinton. Hi Ellen! I just love the little beer mug. Very fun. Cheers! Dying to see it? Let's get started. We'll start by creating our beer mug, which starts with a base of Whisper White cardstock, which is three by three and three quarters. On that, I have three panels of So Saffron, which are seven eighths of an inch by three inches. Then we'll go to town with our corner router punch. On the So Saffron, you only really need to do the bottom because that's what's going to show. If you, if you want to do all four edges, go to town. Now here's the fun part. I'm using a brand new stamp set from Stampin' Up! called Happy Hour. I love, love, love this set. So much fun. I love all the little martini glasses and fruity drinks and we're going to take the cheers from this one. And I'm going to stamp that in a basic black on just one of the Saffron panels. Almost forgot. We want to punch the corners of the Whisper White beer mug. Again, you can do all four if you'd like, but you're really only going to see the bottom. Taking a Sil Saffron ink pad and a sponge, and just sponging the edges of our beer mug. Got to get that rich amber color of beer, or maybe a little darker for a root beer. The easiest way to do this was to start with the two outer and then put the inside on. You line up those two outer edges, then the inside should be easy to line up. And it lines up perfectly. And I'm using two Stampin' Up! Circle punches here. This is one and three quarters and two and a half. I'm going to start with the smaller one. We're going to make our handle. I'm going to go almost halfway in and punch. So we have this rounded handle on our scrap. Then I'm going to take the larger two and a half inch circle punch, line that up over what we just punched. And that gives us our perfect beer handle. Pretty cool, huh? Just a little snail on the back will attach that right to the back of our beer mug. Who knew making beer mugs would be so easy? And now for some fun, fun, fun. Doing the background, I am using a brand new Argyle embossing folder from Stampin' Up. Super cool texture. Placing early espresso cardstock inside that Argyle textured folder. Sandwiching that folder between two cutting pads and placing it on tab one of the multi-purpose cutting platform and crank it through your big shot. And the end result, super fun! So cool, isn't it? Using some snail adhesive, the espresso textured panel goes on a whisper white card base and then we'll use some snail again to put our beer mug right on top of that. All of these dimensions and all of these supplies are available on my blog at this address right here or by clicking on the link in the description of this video. And you can purchase all of the supplies there. Now we need to make this beer mug frothy! Our froth comes from a little help from our circle punches. We have one and a quarter inch, one inch and three quarter inches. And a little blossom from our boho blossom for our fizz. Using the So Saffron ink pad to match our beer mug, I'm just going to sponge around the edges of each of these of each of these circles. We have three one and a quarter inch, three one inch, one three quarter inches, and two of the little blossoms from Boho Blossom. And then to stick those on, I just used a little bit of snail adhesive on the back. Our back row is one and a quarter inch, the largest ones. Our middle row is the one inch punches. Then below that I'm going to do the three quarter inch punch. I'm doing actually a little bit of a different sudsy design that I did on the original one and I kind of like it. <laughs> Wasn't intentional but hey, happy accident. And then we'll stick a little suds like that. Well they both look super cool. And one more finishing touch. Back to our super fun stamp set for the inside. Any hour spent with you is happy hour. Isn't that fun? Stamp that right on the inside of your card in black. And voila, our card is complete. Great for any occasion, more than just Father's Day, but it is a fun masculine card as well. Again, you can purchase all of these supplies on my blog. You can go to this link here or click on the same link in my description of this video. Thanks for joining me today.